What is good, my dudes? It is Daro Lux here, bringing you a brand new video. Hold up, hold up. Play that intro back for me. What is good, my dudes? Alright, is that good? No, 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 no. Replay the name for me. It is Daro Lux here. Alright, guys. Yeah, it's me, Daro Lux. And that intro was showing you that I joined Daro Uprising through the recruitment challenge they made on their channel. And I would appreciate it, and they probably would too, if you would go to their social medias and YouTube and like follow them and subscribe to them. I'll have all the links in the description to do that, and I would appreciate it if you say Lux sent you. So I got recruited as a director on June 13, 2017, and I would like to thank Daro Uprising for giving me the opportunity to join their group. So now that I have that out of the way, let's get into what the actual video is about. So today I'm going to be bringing you a new glitch on the Black Ops 3 Zombies map Moon in Zombies Chronicles DLC. Now this is a pile of glitch that you do in No Man's Land or the spawn area near the Pack-a-Punch machine and the zombies will not be able to hurt you. You walk up to the wall where I'm at and then you make sure you're not too close but not too far because if you're too close to the wall they can hit you but if you're too far away they will run to you and they won't pile up on the other side of the wall. Now a little bit ago I said that they can't hurt you but there is one exception and that is if too many zombies pile up some are pushed to the side of the wall and they will come around to hit you but because it is round one you can knife them and you will be safe again another thing that really helps with this glitch is that if you have the gobble gum called disorderly combat which is a mega gobble gum that came out with dlc 3 it basically gives you a random weapon every 10 seconds for five minutes so every 10 seconds for five minutes you will have a new weapon this is helpful because there are no guns in no man's land and it's round one the entire time so the guns will do a lot of damage to the zombies but you can run out of ammo in your mr6 and you can run out of grenades so the only way you can kill them is knifing them, and you can't really do that in this glitch. I mean, you can, but it'll take a really, really long time. And if you're running around and knifing them, that's a terrible move, because I think it takes two hits to kill them when you're in no man's land and the sirens are sounding, even if it's round one. So when I used the Gobblegum Disorderly Combat, it was like one of the greatest things that I've ever done with one of these glitches. In that five minutes, when I used it, I got almost 30,000 points on round one, which meant I could pack a punch the MR6, I can buy a Juggernaug, which was there when I was playing. It could be a different perk for you, but that's what was there when I was playing so I could buy Juggernaug and also you can go and open a lot of the doors on the other side of the map by round two so you could have a lot of access to the map on round two you could have a good weapon Juggernaug a pack a punch gun and you can do this all by round two so that basically sets you up for the entire game. Another thing is you also get a lot of XP doing this. So this can be used as an XP glitch, but beware you, you can get banned from doing XP glitches because it's not the way the game was made to be played and you basically didn't earn the level that you are. So they could ban you or derank you or something like that. Anyways, that's all for today. So if you're not following my social media, you should go ahead and do so because I do most of my updates on there, especially Twitter. I will leave those links in the description and thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, comment anything your heart desires. It's Lux, and I'll see you in the next one. Everybody know I've been knocking dough down like a Jehovah Witness. God is my witness, I'm witness, but on the real, I think I need another witness. If it was 1717, black daddy, white mama wouldn't change a thing. Light skinned motherfucker certified as a house nigga. Well, I'll be God.